In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, amen. Here's a textbook of the spiritual exercises of St. Ignatius Loyola, translated by Lewis Poole. On this, we can see a beautiful picture of Our Lady of Perpetual Help. In this uh, spiritual classic, number 23, St. Ignatius tells us the purpose of our existence. This is called principle and foundation. And all of us should know this. We should know the purpose of our existence, why we're here, where we're headed, and how to get there. Ignatius says this, man is created to praise God, to reverence God, to serve God, and by means of that to save his immortal soul. I'd like to say those words again, which you can read in this text, the spiritual exercise of St. Ignatius number 23, on which all of the exercises are, are based or founded or built upon this principle, which is called principle and foundation. You are created to praise God, to reverence God, to serve God, and by means of that to save your soul. These words of Jesus Christ that St. Ignatius said over and over again to Francis Xavier are parallel to this statement of Ignatius. What would it serve a man if he gained his whole, if he gained the whole world and lose his soul? What can a man exchange for his soul? Another parallel statement can be taken from the Baltimore Catechism. One of the first things that many of us learn when we're learning our catechism years ago, which is a perennial truth, and it's this. We are created to know God, to love God, to serve God in this life so as to be happy with God in heaven. I'll repeat that. We were, we were created to know God with our mind, to love God with our heart, to serve God with our whole being so that we can be happy with God forever in heaven. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.